Hello folks, welcome back, Samuel Golden again. In this week's episode of How to Become a Pilot, let's discuss your private pilot knowledge test. Here's an overview of the four steps to get a score that you are proud of. Step one, obtain your federal tracking number or FTN number by registering on the IACRA site as I demonstrated in episode four. If you missed it, I'll link that episode below. Step two, complete a ground school, then do some test preparation. Step three, and obtain an endorsement to take your test. And step four, find a testing center near you and go get it done. Okay, let's go through these in a little more detail. For step two, ground school, you have three options. Option one is to study via textbook. There are different publishers to choose from, but a good place to start is with the FAA's Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. A test book or two is a nice option if you prefer book learning, but your test prep options are limited. You might want to bust the 3x5 cards out. Option two is attending a classroom-style ground school course. Your local flight school or college may offer in-person classes, and this is a great option for those who prefer a more traditional environment for learning. However, this will be a less flexible option and more difficult to fit into a busy schedule. Option three is to purchase a home study course such as King Schools. There are some good options out there, but I personally think ours is the absolute best. King's Private Pilot Ground School course is a fantastic video-based ground school and robust test prep software rolled into one. Plus, we will give you your money back in the unlikely event you don't pass your test. I may be a little biased, but I think home study is a great option that will fit into your busy schedule and save you money in the process. Okay, you've taken your ground school, you've prepared for your test, and you're feeling good. At this point, your instructor will give you an endorsement to take the test, or if you've studied online with King Schools, the software will automatically create an endorsement for you. Next, find a testing center near you. I'll link a website for finding a testing center on your screen and, and in the description. Then gather your photo ID, test endorsement, and federal tracking number and go knock it out. You will have two hours to answer 60 questions and a 70% or higher score is needed to pass. Congratulations. One last pro tip. As you study, don't just memorize test questions and answers to get the written test over with. It's tempting. If you take the time to learn and truly understand the material, you'll not only ace your knowledge test, you'll also be well prepared for the open-ended questions your examiner will ask you on your final practical test. Plus, you'll become a safe, confident, and knowledgeable pilot, ready to be pilot in command. This outcome is well worth the extra effort, I promise. Okay, that's it for today. See you next week where we will discuss headsets and other gear you'll need to fly. I look forward to seeing you then.